hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Rush. This is our longest going <coughs> let's play on this channel, so make sure you're checking out the rest of the episodes of this series before you watch this episode. Well, you don't have to, but it's very interesting to start here and not go to the first episode. Now, we were on a level numero... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're on level 9 out of infinite. Arriving at the storm... Oh, storm cloud temple. Arriving at the storm cloud temple has been the best thing to happen, happen to us in days. The storm cloud sorcerers will be at your command, general. And they can now open a portal straight to Vardul. However, we must provide them with a defense while they complete their spell. Something... Abominable is approaching, and the men are extremely nervous. Now we're playing on easy, because I'm a noob. That's just how things go, and I don't think you want to watch that many episodes of me sitting here crying. 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 Uh, okay, so we're protecting them here. Okay, okay. So, archer there. And archer here. And then I focus all my defenses here. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be intense. Okay, I want to position my guys so they can cover both entrances. Show them there. Yeah, that's perfect. Hmm. Now, I haven't played this game for a while, so I'm going to be a slight bit rusty. So, just so you know. And by slight, I mean a little bit more than slight. So we do nothing. We let you forgive. And in exchange, we trust the secret to be a secret. Exchange. No, I say every exchange. Okay, well, the setup is not working, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this mess is not working. I have to restart. Maybe you wanted to change your life. Maybe you thought you could turn yourself in. Like some of your friends, some protection. Maybe you claim to dispose of the flower. Actually, I'm gonna restart that because I don't want that tower there. I'm gonna make this guy still gonna be. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have you told me? Want this one to be that one. Not there. Not there. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I'm really rusty at this game, so this might be 20 minutes of me just pressing the restart button over and over and over again. Because that could be what happens this whole episode. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that phrase was scary. Oh, it's just trolls. Yeah, okay. Just trolls. Yeah, okay. I, I feel the setup's not going to work either. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
greatest cooperation. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, no, the set are not going to work either. Just for Dino Matt. How to be good at video games. I'm just going to call this saying that this is moving a little fast for me. So. Yeah. He was there. That just confirmed the blood was ready. As far as we can tell, he killed his cat. Why aren't you on having him down? Sorry. 
but we would recover our righteousness for sin and anyway. That's it. Someone is failing us, and we don't know who's ready to give us. We have a Lord. That Lord who is in hell leading to the abduction and torture of ready. The single lab for all the narrow. Whoever is after ready men and them for us. And that means as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Ready men still has to look back. The unit has new focus, finding him. As of this moment, the only target on the blacklist is Raymond Bennett. <laughs> Are you my father? Are you my mommy? Wow. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll, up I guess I'll upgrade you. Last episode. All caught up. All caught up. Didn't know what to play about. Skateboarding game, we're gonna try it when you come visit Boston next. I said, like hell, I will. Like fun, I will. And I sat down and just started playing this. It's almost good. <laughs> Play the first game. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just kidding right now. I know you are. The Duck 100, it's uh, Tony Hawk, and the whole team has never. Uh, every year. Uh, dance for the devil in the pale moon light. You're going to want to pay attention to number 20 in our countdown of the 100 greatest films of all time. It is 1989's Batman. It is Tim Burton's Batman. And I know that number 20 makes me look as very happy. It really does, especially in 1989. A younger version of me went to the theater with a little trepidation. I was a little concerned that this was going to be a cheese ball, campy, slapsticky Batman. Tim Burton, I think, had come off of Beetlejuice. I was a little apprehensive about the casting of Michael Keaton as my favorite superhero. But 
boy, all of my concerns mm. were wrong because this was a super fun film, partially because of Keaton, I think, overhandling the role of Bruce Wayne and Batman. I think he was terrific in the role, but I also really fell in love, as everybody did, with Jack Nicholson as the Joker. He's amazing. It's a good performance from Nicholson. <laughs> Was a Pisces, and I think that's what gives it a bit of a backbone. Yeah, I don't think the mainstream would have been as interested in this version of that. Game companies. The PS4 is out, the Xbox One, and Nintendo came out punching as well. There's so much going on, so much gaming goodness, as we like to say, that the Nick and I are suffering from a medical condition called smoking thumbs. Never got us to three needs right now. Okay. New enemy. Dark Slayers. Claimed by darkness. Slayers are the bane of anyone standing in their speed. Very tough, slow speed, great armor. This is City. They are absolutely impeccably perfect to the point where we've had other movies on the list. We've got some sweaty names, some voxels, and we're going into a German subterranean nightclub. <laughs> Blue. Also, number 19 is revealed in the top 100 games and movies. To meet them at the PlayStation 4 event in New York City, and they're very nice gentlemen. They also, of course, worked on Superstar List HD, which was a huge hit, really gave it both of us. Yeah, and now what they've done is they harness the power of the PlayStation 4, and they've created something, and this is really. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna pause the recording real quick. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Oh, it's a dark night in there. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I didn't even see the dark night. That was good. You know, you want to hear about a acclaimed, criti uh, a critically acclaimed director, Martin Scorsese? There's a lot of good movies. Um, but it depends on what type of uh, works you like. Like works of art? Like, depends on, like do you like... Like, what's your genre of choice? Of choisi? What's choisi as un genre? What the heck is a rocket rider? A half man, half machine, the rocket rider fire the dark lord's wheel. The turbos make some fire super fast for two seconds. Okay. Then Luke Fellas and Ray Liotta and Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, all of these guys come together in a very beautiful way. I'm funny how huh? you're funny like I'm clowning. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could have just said that's it for me. I'm done. That's uh, yeah, I'm retiring. Yeah, you're right. Unless the director would have. Yeah, sure. and, and this would have been fine. It would have been okay. Well, it's still one of the best movies we've ever seen. Yes, there's a whole bunch of other fantastic. Oh, can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Like, this is Ooh. seminal, incredible, important. It's a director's workshop. It's a lot of I guess. Right. Oh yeah, I got I gotta choose. I'm gonna do this one. I got one. 
20th anniversary Blu-ray release of Martin Scorsese's Oh, I was gonna press it. Oh, it's a Dark Slayer, I don't know. Gangster film, rated one of AFI's top 100 movies. Does that do, like, two damage? What do you think of the film? Literally does two damage to this guy. Just take out the guy. Oh! I knew that would come in use eventually. Don't waste your power on that guy. I swear. Oh, okay. Oh, because I didn't get Death Ray yet. Oh, I need to upgrade this, is really what I need to build. Upgrade, so I not build. Headshot him. Headshot him. Headshot him. Headshot him. Come on, headshot him. Copa, Copa, Cobana. Then, 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 so scary, rage mode. I'm so scared. He's in rage mode. Hell. He's in rage. He's in rage. Ah. I am so scared. Rage. It's happening. Okay, then just go through it. It's all right. Was this this guy? This guy does not have range over here. How is he sniping? This was ridiculous. I threw this thing in, and I had my brother-in-law and my two nieces sitting there. Everybody's chalked to the ground because we couldn't believe the velocity or the ferocity of this thing. Crashes were cars were flipping and flying forever. And the speeds were incredible in this game. It's like crash porn. Oh, the crashes are so beautiful. Yes. Watching your car just. What did you say? Go for Cobana. happens here in fact. Sometimes your pants might even fill up for the long therapy. That's so a video game. Instead of 190. Come on, take him down. Take him down. Just headshot him. Come on, you have to. Literally have to. Okay, I'll admit that was kind of massive damage. Okay, take a screenshot. Yeah, how do that? Print screen. Mm -hmm. All right.
This is really should really make it, ladies and gentlemen. This really shouldn't make it. You know, wow! Did you just, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, did you really? I'll admit that was quite the waste. Upgrade that. Oh, now I'm gonna have to sit here. I meant to upgrade this one, honestly. Or I guess that one's kind of helpful. Not really. Is that one really helpful? <clears throat> eh. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. Not yet. At least. At least. Oh, I meant to save up for. Wow, I'm good at this whole saving money thing. You know, when you don't save any money at all and you just forget? Oh, that's, that's, that's cheap. Oh, nice one. That's cheap. You made a pass. Alright. Let me get these guys in here. We're saving up for this. Okay, we're saving up. Just kidding. No, we're not. Don't you dare target one of these. This guy's coming. Take him out. Take him out. No. Oh. Okay, never mind. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. I fixed it. Honestly. Okay, I'm gonna end the recording soon. Soon. Um. Ish. Ish. Soonish. Eventually. You know, eventually the recording's gonna end. Um, in two That's waves. In two waves. What makes what soldier can do that? Really? Hmm. What good are you? Stop trying to download something. Mm -hmm. See that little icon? Mm -hmm. Update icon. Mm -hmm. Oh lord. Good headshot. Good headshot. It was a good headshot. It's this guy I'm worried about right now. Oh, boom. Got enough of that. Also, I got enough to... No, I don't want that. Um, I'm gonna save up for the 300 upgrade. Boom, that should kill him. Yeah. Ha! Kill him! Did you just headshot that guy? Mm, okay. I'm not saying that was a waste. I'm just saying it's an interesting choice by the AI. Very interesting choice. Yeah. Bring on the eddies. Everyone's ready for the Yetis. Bring on the Yeti action. I'll take that Yeti down. We're prepared for the Yeti, right, ladies and gentlemen? For nine Yetis who aren't coming. Yeah, there they are. Gone. Boom. Already took down one. Boom. Did you see that? One Yeti down, eight to go. The, the, uh, Dust to dust. Boom! Two down! Already! Do you even see this, ladies and gentlemen? Do you even see this? Okay, we're down to 60% or 60 for 14 seconds reload, and we're 16 second reload and 100%. But you don't know when it's gonna do it. Which is kinda sad, but it's okay. Come on, take him down. That's weird. What's the program's offensive control? Boom, headshot. Oh, the daily show. He's down. He's down. I'm sorry, headshot? Do I hear it?
headshot or a evaporation imagination station. Boom. He's down. Headshot. Um, I prefer to be headshot this guy, but... Boom. Just take that guy down. Um, um, uh, 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 we may not make it. Headshot. Um. The zombies are on the loose once again now in next gen, courtesy of Capcom Vancouver's Dead Rising 3. This is an Xbox One exclusive. Tom, what do you think of this? Well, you know, the zombies are coming. Yeah. And they're coming for a long time. They have, and, you know, with a little loading time, they'll be coming again. This is so messed up. It's a great mm. it's still Oh, like no. Zombies, but you are Nick Ramos, yeah. and you are a super, you're pretty much like badass weapon builder guy. The guy you want to be near, he is the MacGyver of the zombie outbreak. He is. You have to be the best way to put <laughs> You need to be around this guy once the outbreak hits, because if there's anything to be put together, he is the man who can do it, courtesy of all the blueprints scattered around Los Perdidos, California. Nick, those zombies are going to get in there any second. We have to do something. Oh my god, he just ate that guy. I thought, you know, the previous Dead Rising games you did the same kind of thing, but this game adds so much more chaos, and there's sections where it's just, the streets are littered, hundreds of zombies all over the place. It was scary. Like, yeah. I, I wanted to like this game more, but to me it felt like this game was either moving really slow or really fast. Yeah. Now is the time to teleport him. I felt like I was hitting some great moments, and then there were times that I just felt like, oh, I have to get back to the other side of the map. It's kind of funny because the game looks, it looks like it's set in sort of a fictional L.A. And it felt to me like what driving in L.A. was like. You're like, oh, I have to get over there. Oh, crap, Move him back down. Which Move him back down. Insane. It was like a tractor and truck. Mowing <laughs> <laughs> everything down. And oh, God, he broke out. everything. Yes, let's do all of that. That's all I want to do. The whole time. The steamroller, motorcycle combination. It's pretty amazing. I actually joined someone's call-off game. They were in the middle of driving around the city in one of those, and I was on the back with uh, throwing Molotov cocktails at the zombies. And we drove around for probably like half an hour. So Capcom Vancouver, nice go at slaying tons, no. tons of zombies. Take him down. Gen versions of games and we're comparing them to the next next gen versions of games. Right now it's Battlefield 4. Here's Sean and Raju. In terms of first person shooters, it is the Apple. Call of Duty Orange. Today we are looking at EA's Battlefield 4. And since we are in cross gen madness, we are going to look at the PS3 and compare it to the PS4. Sean, what do you think of the shooter? I'm scared of shooters, man. Battlefield no. 4 is a very nice game. It does everything correctly. The mechanics work very well. The story is as much of a story as you need for this kind of thing. All you really need to know is you are a bunch of dudes. No, 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 no,
Ugh, JC, you only had 880 health left. I was so close. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a nice day.